Hello friends. Today we we'll look into a very powerful recipe for the best organic pesticide which can be used as an all-purpose or the universal pesticide for both treatment and prevention of pests like the aphids, mealybugs, white flies, caterpillars and lot of other pests and bugs in your garden. Stay tuned. If you are interested in gardening, please subscribe to my channel with the bell icon clicked so that you receive notifications on my new uploads. By using chemical pesticides in our garden, we intentionally release harmful toxic and cancer producing substances into our environment. Thankfully, there are a number of easily available natural substances that act as organic pesticides and are completely safe to use them on your plants. These homemade natural pesticides can kill a variety of bugs and pests in your garden, either singly or in combinations. Combination of multiple substances can help you provide a broad spectrum killing effect of a variety of pests like the aphids, white flies, mealybugs, spider mites, beetles, fleas, flies, mosquitoes, larvae, caterpillars, slugs and snails and many more. Today we look into the formula or the recipe to make this all-purpose cocktail pesticide and most importantly it's completely safe and it is organic. Before we go into the ingredients, make sure you follow these three rules in applying this natural pesticide for your plants. The first and foremost is always do a patch test on a leaf or any branch before applying it all over your garden. If your leaf is getting burnt or wilting then probably you need to reduce the concentration. And if you learn this adjustment, I'm sure you'll have a very good pest free garden one day. Secondly, make sure you spray even on the undersides of the leaves and also the flower buds and new growing shoots. And lastly, do not apply during the sunny hours. Best time is evening and after sunset. Now coming to the formula or the recipe for this all-purpose organic pesticide, we add 4 ingredients to make this powerful pesticide liquid. This formula is to make 1 litre of this solution. So to 1 litre of warm water, we add 10 drops clove oil. If you do not have this clove oil, you can make a clove solution by taking 1 tablespoon of cloves and then crush them roughly and then add this to a cup of warm water and leave this for 1-2 to two hours and then use this solution. Add a cup of this solution to the water. But if you are using pure clove oil, you use only 10 drops. The one you are seeing here I purchased online and this is approved by the ministry as a safe pesticide for organic vegetable gardening. You can use any pure clove oil brand from your local uh, store. You can find a link to purchase this online from my website that is gkvk.in and also from a link in the description below the video. Then second ingredient is 10 drops pure neem oil. Get this from a trusted source. Even this purchase link you can find it in description and also on my website. Then third ingredient is 5 to 10 drops of eucalyptus oil. This actually drives away wasps and honeybees. Use it if you do not mind driving away these pollinators or sometimes they are scary for your kids or you have a risk of anaphylaxis that is allergic shock to bee or wasp stings or use them in special areas to protect your uh, kids from being uh, stung by bees or wasps. Then the last ingredient is 10 drops of liquid soap like the dishwash liquid soap for the coating or the surfactant effect. It's easy to remember this formula like the formula or the rule of 10 that is 10 drops of each of these four ingredients. Mix this well and load into the spray bottle and spray this on your plants. But first do a patch test and then follow all the rules mentioned earlier. I have used this same recipe and cleared almost all pests from my plants. Initially you can use this weekly once for 3 weeks and eradicate all the pests from your garden. Then as a maintenance dose or the prophylactic dose. It is uh, uh, in a little lesser dilution, use this at least once every fortnight or at least once a month. Also watch my videos on the universal fertilizer recipe and the universal potting mix recipes from the end screen links and also from the cards link that top right corner of the video. So there you have it folks, if you like the video please give a thumbs up to me and share the video with your friends. Please do not forget to write your feedback in the comment section below the video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!